Hello, and welcome to the third in our set of Red Dots video logs. If you haven't seen our other videos, you can check them out here and here. Now that you're all caught up, let's begin. I'm very happy to tell you that the weather at La Silla has picked up substantially since our last video, and now the data from Harps is coming in far more readily, with approximately 33 of the 50 spectra obtained successfully at the time of recording. The second data release is now up on the Red Dots website, along with a post from Guian discussing what could be lurking in the signals that have been recorded so far. As always, the photometric campaign is running very well. Check out the second photometric log to see some of the light curves gathered so far, and for discussions about the story behind them. The volunteers working as part of our Pro-Am follow-up continue to inspire us with their incredible work with now over 15,000 individual observations logged on the AAVSO database. To celebrate their achievements, this episode we are very happy to begin featuring our contributors in a segment that we like to call Featured Volunteer Astronomer of the Fortnite. We start the segment with Josh Hamsch and his remote observatory in the Atacama Desert of Chile. He's been able to make a massive contribution with his 42cm telescope and has actually been able to pick up on some of the same flare activity around Ross 154 as the S2 observatory. Next up, we have Peter Nelson and his two observatories in Elibank, Southern Australia. Peter has a wealth of experience in photometry, having previously been involved in a project that refined the positions of the Galilean satellites by over an order of magnitude. Just like the observers at Lasilla, Peter has been battling the cloud. From all of us at the Red Dots team, we wish you the best of luck with the winter weather. Lastly for this video, but not leastly, we have Mark Delden and his observatory in the Laminon province of the south of France, named Le Barres Observatory. After observing both the TRES 3B and the EPIC 211-089-792B exoplanets in previous investigations, Peter was inspired to join the Red Dots campaign after attending a lecture on the discovery of Proxima B. To find out more about our volunteer observers and their observatories, check out the latest Pro-Am log. That's all for this time. We have two featured articles this week, the first of which by Miko Toomey gives an in-depth look at the rapidly rotating Ross 154. With our second offering, being an interview by Zara Badinas, speaking with Dr. Pedro Almada, one of the heads of the Carmelist Project, which is a spectrometer like Harps, which is specifically designed to find exoplanets. They're both thoroughly interesting, and you should go read them right now. As always, you can follow the campaign as it happens at Red Dot Space on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Clark Baker, and I'll catch you in the next Red Dots video log.